And welcome back here to Up North at Four, as we were calling it just now, Up North at Hodag. I've got the man, the myth, the legend, Kerry Bladorn joining me, as well as the myth and the legend, the wonderful Hodag here. And of course, we're talking all things Hodag this week. It is Hodag Heritage Week, I guess, if you will, sort of a week-long bonanza celebrating the history of Rhineland or the history of the Hodag. This is the second year that you guys are doing it. What was sort of the... Uh, the impetus, the impetus, the brainchild behind wanting to do Hodeg Heritage Week. Hodeg, 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 Hodeg. Oh, sorry, I was was caught up in the Hodegs there. <laughs> uh, every day is Hodeg Day Bobby in Bobby. Rhinelander. Uh, 365 days a year, this community just loves its great pine beast. Right. And 129 years it's been around town and the community has embraced it. It's really become a part of the fabric of Rhinelander, the community. Uh, but we thought it would be wonderful to celebrate with a dedicated week-long uh, you know, list of events around town you know, to, to acknowledge the uniqueness and how special Hodegs are to the Rhinelander community. And then finally have a big ho shindag, you could say. Okay, I see what you did there. <laughs> at Pioneer Park. And it's been a partnership between the Hodeg store uh, the Pioneer Park Historical Complex and the Rhinelander Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. And the gals down at the chamber, uh, the event coordinator, Rachel, Rachel Balin especially, has been putting in countless hours this week, uh, running all over and wrangling hoed eggs. And uh, so I just want to take a moment to, to thank them and thank everybody in the community that's supported this event this week. Yeah, absolutely. And I got to say, you look great for 129 years old. I, I would never would have guessed a day over 20. Person. <laughs> Okay, I think that was a, a thank you. I'm not sure. I don't speak hoed egg. Really I well. have done a lot of research on hoed eggs, spent a lot of time around hoed eggs, so I have become fluent in hoed egg ease. Okay. And yes, that was a, uh, a an exuberant thank you. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Well, obviously, the big event, sort of the grand finale of this whole week, is coming on Saturday uh, right here at Pioneer Park, sort of a, a day long celebration. A lot of things going on, starting with a pancake breakfast, if I'm not mistaken. Are you. Are you on the griddle, making some pancakes, Gary? What's going on? Here? I'll be running around helping to uh, sling the sweet pads, if you will, <laughs> certainly. Um, that's also a partnership between the Rhinelander Masonic Lodge mm -hmm. and Pioneer Park Historical Complex, and we also got a lot of help from the Rhinelander Women's Club. Okay. So 8 a.m., we'll be uh, serving up pancakes and sausage, so that'll be an awesome uh, start to the event. And then there's Hodeg stuff going on all day. We're actually sitting uh, in the exact spot where the Hodeg Big Top will go. Okay. And there'll be a stage with speakers. The park will be filled with vendors. Uh, right behind us back here, there's the wonderful Pioneer Park Playground, and we'll have a bounce house, kids' activities, uh, all being helped by the Rhinelander Boys and Girls Club or the Boys and Girls Club of the Northwoods. So just so much stuff going on. And then at the end of the afternoon, we'll have uh, live music here Perfect. under the big top. You said you're gonna have some speakers out here. What are we just covering historical topics? What, what can people expect if they're coming out on Saturday? So hodegs are technically a cryptid, you okay. know, a creature that is known to man, but unfounded by science. Mm -hmm. And so it's good to acknowledge uh, hodegs in the the long line of chupacabras and Bigfoots and Loch Ness monsters and that sort of thing. So this year at the Hoday Heritage Festival, we have a lot of people from around the Midwest, around the country, that are coming into Rhinelander to take part in this cryptid and Hodeg celebration. Mm -hmm. And so we'll have Chad Lewis, who is a Midwest cryptid speaker, uh, very well known in the country, and he'll he'll be here talking about Northwoods uh, lumberjack creatures, Perfect. including Hodegs. So, Hodag, does it feel good to finally get your recognition uh, from the people of the city and from the cryptic researchers? I don't need you to translate, Carrie, because I know that that is a happy <laughs> sound from the Hodag. Yeah. So the big thing I want to talk about, though, is this Hodag calling contest, and I'm going to have to ask you some tips about that. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, Carrie, I need to know the ins and outs of Hodag calling. Well, we have good? the Hodag right here, so exactly. we'll get the best example. No, of that. no better person to ask than the Hodag himself. We'll That's be right, right back here on Up North at Four. Welcome back here to Up North at Four. I'm sitting here at Pioneer Park with Kerry Bladorn and the Hodag himself. And uh, the big event coming up on Saturday to sort of wrap up Hodag Heritage Week is the Hodag Calling Contest at high noon, as you were saying. Um, what goes into a perfect Hodag call, right? Like, uh, we're going to have some judges here. What are you looking for when people enter this contest? 
Well, hoed eggs are a prehistoric creature, you know, likened a little bit to uh, related to the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And so we assume that hoed eggs have uh, a roar or growl of sorts. Certainly okay. this hoed egg, when it speaks in hoed egg -y, sounds very growly, guttural. Right. So to my knowledge, this will be the first ever hoed egg calling contest. Okay. And we just invite people to come down to Pioneer Park and give us the best example of what you think a hoed egg sounds like. So there's, there's no correct answer here, right? It's sort of up for artist interpretation, if you will. Is that fair to say? Absolutely. Okay. So what about just to kind of get your thoughts on it, what do you think a hoed egg sounds like? I'll do my best hoed egg call okay. here. Is that what do good? you think? Is that good? Yeah, all right. I think that was good. All right. All right. So I was hoping to get some tips for it. You know, uh, so Hodag, what are you looking for? If I'm out in the woods trying to pretend to be a Hodag, call for the Hodag. What is going to get your attention? What's going to get your little ears uh, perking up here? Okay. So I think that means loud and, and get your chest into it. Am I... Yeah, yeah. The hoed egg says uh, volume is certainly a factor, okay. and also uniqueness. Oh, okay. So you got to have like a little uh, personal touch. Is right. what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try one now. You guys can sort of judge me. Let me know if it's good or not. But I gotta know. It's from deep in the stomach. Deep in the through stomach. Through the chest. Yeah. <laughs> loud. Let it go. So it's gotta be. Hey, that Not was bad. pretty good. Not bad. Maybe we'll see you on Saturday, Nate. You got to enter. I might have to. I don't want to, you know, get people too nervous because that was a pretty good hodag call. <laughs> but was. people that do enter, what could they possibly win besides maybe uh, all the hodags gathering to come say hi after so such great hodag calls? The accolade of just being the best hodag caller in the community at the first ever hodag calling contest, you know, that's prize enough. That is. But they'll also win a $50 gift certificate to the Hodag store, Rhinelander's dedicated Hodag souvenir shop. Perfect. So, I mean, if you might as well, if you can call the Hodag, you might as well wear the Hodag's gear, right? <laughs> that's, that's right. I think that's the way that works. So, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, final question, though. People want to come out on Saturday. What time should they be here, and how long is this going on Saturday? Uh, like we mentioned, the pancake breakfast starts 8 to 11. The Hodag ceremony and grand entrance is at 10 a.m., mm -hmm. And then there'll be events going on throughout the day, including green hodag beer brought to us by Hodag Ales from the Rhinelander Brewing Company. And four o'clock is the band starting. So it'll all go until about six o'clock in the evening. Perfect. So we're gonna end the interview here, but before we go, I figured the hodag could sort of uh, play us out with a little growl. Do you mind? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. We'll be right back here on Up North. Long live the whole egg.